Hello everyone, I'm Rick Blackwell. A new bill preventing steep cuts in Medicare payments to doctors now on its way to the president's desk. In a rare show of bipartisan support, House and Senate leaders announced the final passage of the bill known as Doc Fix. Speaker John Boehner says the measure blocks a 21% cut in Medicare reimbursements to doctors set to take effect this month. So this marks the first entitlement reform in nearly two decades. And it was accomplished by working together to find common ground on behalf of the American people. President Obama has indicated that he will sign the bill. Also on Capitol Hill today, Defense Secretary Ashton Carter holds his first news conference. Carter says all soldiers who are fighting ISIS militants must be under the control of the Iraqi government. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, was also at that meeting. He says Saudi Arabia has a right to be concerned over the unraveling situation in Yemen. Meanwhile, former Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta receives an honor today. His official portrait was unveiled in a ceremony at the Pentagon. The painting shows Panetta with his golden retriever, Bravo. Why Bravo, they may ask? Well, as Harry Truman said, if you want a friend in this town, get a dog. And that's what I got. Bravo was Panetta's constant companion at the Pentagon. Florida Governor Rick Scott says he's going to sue the Obama administration. Scott says President Obama won't give Florida money for its hospitals because the state won't expand its Medicaid program. President wants the program expanded to some 800,000 low-income people, but Rick Scott says the federal government can't force Florida to do that. Washington's governor calls state auditor Troy Kelly to resign. This after a federal grand jury indicted Kelly on multiple charges, including filing false tax returns and possession of stolen property. The charges involve a mortgage title service that Kelly ran from 2003 through 2008. Kelly, as a Democrat, was elected in 2012. Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign tour continues in Iowa today. She spent another day there after announcing her run for the White House. On the second day of her drive through the state, Clinton met with small business owners. Back in 2008, Clinton came in third in the Iowa caucus, so she's trying to gain more support there. In California, a bill that would require kids to be vaccinated stalls in the state Senate. The new measure would not allow parents to opt out of vaccinations for their children based on personal beliefs. Opponents of the bill say it would create a second class of children since they would be barred from school if they're not vaccinated. And say hello to a pair of special babies. The Bronx Zoo has introduced two little western lowland gorillas. They were born within two days of each other earlier this year. The western lowland gorilla is critically endangered in the wild. That's your Newsmax Now update. More news coming your way in 30 minutes.